Yeah, so the Sanctuary Runners is coming to Limerick. We started in February in Cork and we had 200 people running in the Cork City Marathon, 150 of those Irish and 50 from the five direct provision centres across Cork. So now we're looking forward to getting people in Limerick involved because what the Sanctuary Runners is about is enabling Irish people to run in solidarity with and alongside people in direct provision because a lot of people find it very difficult to know how do you meet somebody in direct provision, how do you interact with them, this is a way and by uh, showing dignity and humanitarianism to each other we feel that's a very positive thing for both Irish people and people in direct provision. People should get involved because it's such a great initiative, um, it's great for your physical health and it's great for your mental health um, but especially for people living in direct provision um, it's something that will help them get out of the centre a bit more. Uh, you know, we keep saying how monotonous the, the life or the living is in direct provision where literally you're waking up, eating, going to sleep and going back to eat and going back to sleep again. So that has a, that has a huge impact on one's mental health and on one's physical health as well. So it will be important to get involved for that because obviously if you look good, you feel good and your state of mind is so much better as well. But also um, to get involved in the community, you know, to start bridging that gap in between people living in isolation and segregation with people living in the local community, bringing people together, um, creating friendships. Basically it all started for me, I was uh, in the car heading down to um, Cork City Marathon in June and I heard, heard a guy called Graham Clifford who was talking about the Cork Sanctuary Runners and they were running in the Cork Marathon and I thought it was a great idea and with the Great Limerick Run here I just thought it would be great to replicate that in Limerick so that's what we're trying to do, we're trying to replicate that and what it is is really getting people from direct provision and people like myself who like to go running um, to go and run together so it's about integration it isn't about just getting people who are based in DP centres all over the city to go out running it isn't about that it's about actual integration and learning about each other through running. Looking, looking at the, the way the integration is in Ireland and it, speaking from experience myself like it's been hard to kind of integrate people not knowing how to just approach them and how to start a conversation really it's, it's, it's been really hard and then you realize that in whatever place you are you need to kind of have a few people that you know you know to help you with directions or point you in the right direction and everything but with this like with running people train together they start up conversations easily I know myself being an athlete um, when I went into athletics it became easier because I was like it, I had to be in the same place as people then conversation just build up from the first day you know but if it's not that if you really have nothing it becomes so hard for people to integrate with each other and the conversation don't just start because you see like you, go, you get in a bus no one speaks to each other because like you're going your way I'm going my way but if we're in the same place for the same reason you know that we're gonna meet up three four five times in a week like we're just gonna have to kind of start talking and then I think it's good for social inclusion and and uh, it's good as well, just for fitness sake, you know, people, especially people in direct provision, most of them have nothing to do, they would, um, they have this red tape around them that doesn't allow them much to, but this will bring them out and probably get involved in a lot of things in society and the community. It isn't just for people in direct provision, it's for people in the local community as well. So it's about bringing, bridging um, that gap, you know, realizing that we are all just human beings regardless of the, the identities that we carry like with people who are living in direct provision or being um, called asylum seekers and you know that sort of becomes an identity so it kind of should try and challenge that and the stereotypes around that but also getting people in direct provision to learn more about uh, the Irish people and people in the local community and learning about the culture and yeah. So Limerick um, is only starting today, but we're just trying to get as many people behind this as we can. So if anybody is interested, we have Twitter, we have Facebook, and the most important thing is the email. If you could email sanctuaryrunnerslimerick at gmail.com. <laughs>